Pisces, this is all about you. Oh, that's a little too much. I, I don't know. <laughs> that's too much. Okay, Pisces, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for energies up to seven days out from when you read, uh, from when you watch this. So this is for Pisces sun, moon, rising, or wherever Pisces influences your natal chart. You can take this energy and squeeze it right in there for seven days out. And I do believe in divine timing. So whenever you watch this video is the right time. This is when you're supposed to see it. Um, there's also a lot of other videos. So if you want to go watch them too, you can go look. They're all under weekly horoscope, or, no, weekly, week ahead videos. So uh, let's get into your reading, Pisces. Um, there was some really interesting energy that you're going to want to check out in that weekend, in that, um, in that uh, romantic tarot is what I call it now like uh, uh, the, the predictions for romance for this coming weekend. Really good stuff. So just letting you know, just letting you know. Um, Pisces, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Help us grow here at Born Without Boundaries and uh, click that bell so that you know when, we, when I go live and when I upload all the content. So this is Pisces energy for the week ahead, sun, moon, rising, or any, any placement. This is just Pisces energy. This is your Oracle card reading. There's going to be a full tarot card spread and a romance reading um, in the extended, which is um, down below. The link to that is in the description box below. So let's do this oracle card reading. Pisces, Pisces energy for the next seven days. What does Pisces have to look forward to? Coming out first, crowning your energy is, ooh, mm, a truth is coming out. You finally got a clear picture of something that's going on. And it's probably something that has been hidden, convoluted, and confusing you for quite some time. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. You might want to go check out that video. But anyway, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, no, you, this has been definitely something that has... I'm not going to say it's haunted you, but it's definitely perturbed you. It's it's definitely something that you haven't understood and wanted to understand. This is seeing the whole picture. It could even just be like finally getting all the paperwork um, cleared and, and finally knowing what you're expected to do so you can pass a test. It, it's something like that. It's, it's an energy of finally now you get everything that's going to be expected of you. The truth has come out and the truth as in the big truth. The all out truth. This is okay. Stop telling me that I need this. Stop telling me that I need this. Tell me everything that I need. Lay it all out. Give me the whole freaking list. This is the whole freaking list. This is the whole picture. So this could be more personal. You know, this might not be as pragmatic. You know, it could be a situation where you're, you didn't understand something and you really, no matter how much you asked or tried to understand, um, and it didn't sit right with you and you're, you're extremely intuitive and you were right to trust your intuition. Pisces, you're always right to trust your intuition because it's usually dead on. And so the, the issue was that your, what, what was going on inside your intuition was not what was going on outside. It's like things were not adding up. So you could sense that something was awry and that there were some factuals missing. And now it's, they're coming, they're, it's, it's finally coming clear. Um, and maybe somebody tried to pull the wool over your eyes or keep uh, a certain something hidden from you and, and they can't do that anymore. And this energy could also be you. Whatever you have been trying to keep hidden and 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 not confront, it's coming out this week. But I, I honestly feel like this is happening outside of you, to be honest. Like this is something that you did want answers to. This is something that you wanted to know. Like I said, you wanted the full list. You wanted somebody to break it down for you so it would be and something easy to understand. And and, and they just weren't giving that information to you. There's just almost something that wasn't adding up or wasn't feeling right. Like, no matter how hard you tried to squeeze into those pants, they were just size too small. You know what I'm saying? They were just like, something wasn't fitting. And you didn't understand why they weren't fitting because, you know, the, the you asked the clerk, the size on there is your size. Like, why is this not fitting me? And now you're finally understanding it was European sizes or something. So it could be something as silly as that. And I'm making light of it, honestly, Pisces. But it's really not light. This is finally everything coming together. The full picture, like a picture, a puzzle, like a picture chopped up into puzzle pieces. You are finally putting those last pieces together. You're finally understanding them, getting them delivered to you, um, finding them whatever somebody's delivering them like whatever it is those final pieces are are all 
coming together this week and you can finally see the whole picture of everything that you need and finally like sit back there's this great energy of just like oh my god like you needed to know you needed to know you needed to understand and the answers are finally here for you Pisces if you're on platforms that allow for commercials I'm going to sneak one in here and I'll be back with you in about 30 seconds I appreciate your patience so thank you for sitting through that commercial. It's actually a donation to the channel. It helps to sponsor the channel. So you basically just sponsor the channel by being patient. And I'm really grateful. Um, let's get deeper into this, though, because there is a... See, when giraffe spirit shows up, and he did in your crowning energy, when giraffe spirit shows up, this is a relief. This is a very protective and gentle energy. It's a healing energy and it's grounded. So it, it has a higher perspective, but it also is grounded because, you know, giraffes have that higher perspective because they're so gosh darn tall, but they're, they have four hooves on the ground at all times. So this is a sense of a realistic higher perspective. You know what I'm saying? Of, of something that's grounded. So you can trust this energy. You can trust this source of information. You can trust... Uh, the information that you've received and and finally there's a sense of okay i get it i get it maybe you've just heard from somebody that you haven't heard from in a long time and they're they're clarifying things for you um uh, there could be many many different scenarios going on i could think of a thousand but uh, overall this is just finally you getting the whole truth and nothing but the truth and i'm gonna i'm gonna share with you like that buddhist parable of all the different priests and holy men um, um, describe blindfolded. They were all blindfolded and they're all like touching this object and describing what they feel and they really feel like they've gotten the whole truth. Oh, I'm touching a, a, the, the, the trunk of a tree. You know, um, this is definitely the trunk of a tree. And, oh, I'm, I'm touching a, um, a snake. I can feel it. I know that it's a snake. Another one is like, no, I'm, I'm touching um, a, a shoe brush. You know, uh, or and, and then and the others like I'm I'm touching a, a, a like a leather coat or whatever it is, um, and then when and and all of them were describing something that they were that they were they were describing exactly what they were experiencing, but then when they took their blindfolds off, they realized that the whole what they were really touching was an elephant, and the bottom line is they only knew their own perspective, they only saw their part of the story, and now it's like your blindfold has been removed, and you can see the whole story, you see exactly, because something just didn't feel right to you ever, it didn't really add up, and now it's all adding up, so let's get into this more energy, slow and steady wins the race, so I think you have trudged on, and kept going, and sort of kept the faith to some respect. And I feel like maybe, just maybe, there's this energy of somebody that didn't give up on you. Somebody who wanted to know you deeper and better and the sense of emotional maturity that has sort of come into you and you realizing that maybe this is a different side, sort of scenario now that you have all the facts. You're sort of putting everything together and you, you in some ways, feeling more comfortable in your own skin. Sea turtle just swims with the tides. He goes with the current. Think of like, um, totally dude, that little sea turtle from, um, from Finding Nemo with Squirt. Yeah, think of him and think of his dad. Totally. You know, they were just riding the current, man. That's what they do, yo. And that's how they live so long and they just experience life. This is a Cancerian energy, could be dealing with a Cancer, but I don't think that that sign is important. I think that the mentality is important, and this is almost like King of Cups energy. This is emotionally mature. It's like, I'm not hiding myself in, in my shell. I'm not hiding from the world. I just have my shell. I know that I'm strong because I carry my home wherever I go. I don't need protection. I don't need a barricade. My home is my strength and I carry it wherever I go. You know, sea turtles don't retract into their shells. You know, they just have the shell for protection. It's part of them. It's part of God's gift to them. And they ride the freaking current and they live a long time and they're pretty darn awesome animals. So this is the mentality of you feeling good about yourself and this energy of whatever has been answered whatever has come to light giving you a solidarity inside of yourself that you can carry on into the rest of your life and other realms of your life finally seeing something that has taken a long time to come to fruition take flight um be peace you could be dealing with a libra but this is the energy of love this is the energy of unconditional love this could be big love you know that not just in love romance but also um 
um, the energy of just loving others. Do unto others as you would have done to yourself and, and feeling connected to the world. But there is also a peace offering, a sense of equilibrium coming back into balance. So this was a very trying time for you. This is a trying time for you coming to an end. This is a period of, of disarray and unbalance and instability that's finally subsiding. Um, there's an energy of, um, oh, this fruit fly keeps flying in and I apologize. I <laughs> so sorry for that. Um, there is an energy of um, finally being able to exhale. Like I said, going with the flow, but this is also somebody like, working together yeah there's an energy of somebody working with like the turtle and the dove spirit are working together they're working in sync to sort of balance out your life so um the dove is almost the delivery the messenger the messenger of love i feel like right now pisces for the first time in a long time you feel loved you feel this energy of acceptance around you and you don't feel um, this sort of instability or like you're working against the tides. Trust in the great mystery. Oh, you're diving deep. You are diving deep. There could be love, love, love. This is you taking the plunge. Feeling comfortable finally to be washed in your emotions and swimming, um, swimming uh, happily with the tides and the ebb and flow and all of your feelings this is you diving deep interesting and then we have love is all around okay i mean this is not a romance reading I, i'm not trying to make it a romance reading but it's pretty darn hard to ignore this and pisces if you watch the weekend romance or the the romantic tarot that i just released you know what i'm gonna put it above here for you at 12.06, I'm just going to run it above my head because I think you really need to hear this. There is depth. You're swimming in the love. You're swimming in it. Ooh, let it shine. Let it shine. Somebody has called you. In other words, um, something has been brought to light, right? This this energy of finally realizing who it is that really loves you, finally going, making a choice. It's almost like you've made a choice. You've made a decision. And you're not afraid of it. You're, you're taking the plunge. You're not, you're not worried or caught up anymore in not understanding things because now you do, you understand everything. And maybe part of what you didn't understand was your own feelings. You weren't prepared for this. You weren't, you weren't prepared to trust this energy, but now it's an energy that you can trust. This is, this is very much like the Aquarian um, video, but watch and wait. Ooh, what is this? What is this energy? Watch and wait. This is taking a turn. I do. I do believe this is your own energy. So maybe, okay, that, now that makes sense. You were very patient with all this. It took time. Um, and I think that this is a reward for your faith because it wasn't easy for you to keep the faith. Um, I don't think that you were necessarily sitting around and watching and waiting for somebody to come around. Maybe you were, and if so, they're coming around. But I think somebody is finally deciding to choose you. They're, they're making a decision, Pisces, that you're the one. Or, and this is another energy, that because this is your energy arriving here, this is an energy of you being able to finally admit that you're in love with somebody. And you finally coming and announcing to that person or that or maybe even this project or this job. No, I, I want to be here. I'm ready for this. And, and now finally feeling good about it because you understand everything that's going on. Um, ooh, embrace the in-between. This is also Libra energy because it's all about balance. It's about conserving energy. So you know what I think? Maybe Pisces, you have decided to jump into something that you aren't even that sure of. Yeah, it's almost like you're trying to gain a higher perspective, but there's something beneath it that you understand. Like you need, you need more information. You need more information. But by the end of this week, you're not going to need more information. You have all the information you need. And even though everything may not be clear, or this is, this is like uncommon ground for you. And I feel like that's, 
the area of you you do, you feel a little bit unstable you feel a little bit off balance um this is almost like two of pentacles energy where you've just not, not been in this territory before and this is another again yeah. you're Twice now, you're showing up in your own reading, Pisces. So this is double Pisces energy. You may be dealing with another Pisces, but I feel like you're dealing with yourself. This is really you holding yourself accountable for why does it matter? Why do you need all the answers? Enough is enough. What really matters is that you feel this and you know this is the right time and you're trying to gather information. I think I think you're gathering enough information. There is always enough. There's abundance all around you. Love is all around you. Um, I need to take a moment and really think on this and then lay a solid foundation, but it's, it's backwards. It's upside down. This is Pisces. This is all really back and forth. I don't like this is confusing me. I'm going to flip the camera angle around so that we can review this all together. Hold on. Okay. So... Um, God, Pisces, um, there has been a shift in the way that you feel. There's been a, sort of an upheaval. It's like, I feel like you wanted something to be more concrete. You wanted, okay, this is the energy that I'm getting when I review all of the cards, Pisces. I feel like you wanted something to be concrete. You were looking for certain benchmarks of the way that this was supposed to feel or the way that you were supposed to understand it or the way that this was supposed to add up. But I think after this whole journey, this journey through this week, there is essentially enough for you to just basically take the plunge based on what you feel. In other words, even though you don't have all the answers, you have enough of the answers to realize that you need to take this chance. You need to take this opportunity. Am I feeling very strongly that this is about a romance, a relationship? Yes. I do feel like there is a hesitation in you because you're not certain of it. But bottom, you, it's, it's like you don't care that you're uncertain. It's almost like you're fighting your own uncertainty. Uncertainty. That's what it feels like. You're fighting against your own uncertainty because it's like you're disbelieving your own uncertainty. You're not trusting. You're not, you're, you're questioning your own uncertainty. You're like, why am I not certain about this person? Why am I not certain? Because they, they add up. It makes sense. But it's almost like you, maybe you felt like you were chosen by them too much and you were pursued by them too much. And it was almost like you didn't feel comfortable with that. I don't know. That's, that's a weird that's a weird energy. Like maybe if you had chosen them more and they hadn't been so aggressive towards you, it would have felt a little bit e easier. But there's all, there's just this, this energy of just like diving, really just diving in, just taking the plunge. Maybe this is a sense of understanding that where you were isn't where you belong. <clears throat> and that's where you're taking the plunge is that you're finally ready to, I don't know, get out of a relationship and be single again. But based on this romantic energy that's popping off for you this this coming weekend, I can tell you right now, that's not the case. You are definitely coming in, in, in go listen to that reading. You're definitely, something is happening that just is really unexpected for you. I'm going to clarify this with tarot, but this is an energy of finally getting clarity, but maybe you're getting clarity through spirituality. You're getting clarity through your intuition. You're deciding to take this leap of faith without all of the puzzle pieces because you have enough of the puzzle pieces and at this point um the puzzle pieces are going to you, they're going to come it's almost like you know the rest of the puzzle pieces is going to come and that you're willing to wait for the rest of the puzzle pieces to come while you're in this you're just going to decide to trust in the instability for now but i really want to see what the outcome of this is so we're going to dive deep into tarot clarify with tarot and then also do a romance reading. I will see you guys. The link is below. I'll see you over there.